flooding horror-esque dating sim low on food it's about cooking are we gonna start cooking each other i'm so nervous okay cooking cooking companions it's a horror-esque cute dating sims i've never played it before i'm so scared but so excited but i'm sh i'm shaking okay are we ready to get into it okay this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed gregor okay this is gregor that walk was brutal but this cabin is amazing. Full kitchen, running water. It really has everything. Where are we? What's happening? Anatoly? Finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. I feel you there. Mariah, I can't wait to... Ta... Ta... Ah! Ah, Oh, God. Now I'm, pre I'm mentally preparing for a jump scare. I'm sorry, everyone. It must be the dust. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease, we can make this cabin shine. Not many supplies here. Guess we'll have to go out and get what we need. Okay, where did these four even come from? They just stumbled into the cabin and now they're like, they didn't, they don't have anything. There's a fireplace for making stew. So let's gather up some firewood, okay? Anatoly and Mariah are getting the food. Gregor is gathering firewood. That makes you our designated chef. Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You nod. Oh, I'm a character too. Very excited to try your cooking. All right, everyone, let's go to work while well, there's still sunlight. Later. I guess I'm a character. I thought I was watching them. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, three exit the cabin, leaving you alone with Karen. I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thank you for helping out with the cooking. Karen heads to the living room, starts looking at the books. I'm gonna go look at books. You decide to look around the kitchen to find ingredients for the meal tonight. Tutorial, you never know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching an area more than once. Oh. Okay, why not give it a try? What area do you want to search first? The cupboards? Behind the wood pile? The drawers? Um, let's do the cupboards. The first few cupboards are empty. Okay. Anatoly must put the supply somewhere else. Do we just keep searching? You check the drawer above the wood pile. Something is making it difficult to open. You pull it open with all your might. Wee cabbage! <laughs> Wee cabbage! It's time. Okay. Chompettes, sound off. What are who? Who are the chompettes? Onion. Never fear, onion is here. <laughs> Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Okay, slay bread. Raspberry! Always marry raspberry. Arta. Potato. Cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. Could be. You right. <laughs> We're the chompettes. Why talk with those boring humans? Yes, all they have to give you is drama. Okay, I think we officially have lost it. We're talking to foods in the drawer. Come chat with us instead. We'll share valuable recipes you can cook. Boy, boy, boy. We'll share with you our secret to chomp at recipes. Boy, boy. Collect them all to become a five-star chef. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Abby. Roasted eggplant with sesame and pomegranate. Meat free. Ooh, eggplant with sesame and pomegranate okay sounds good you unlocked your first recipe oh, let's yeah. go if you ever want to talk just come to the drawer jump oh, let's move out okay <laughs> they're like the trans the transformers over here autobots roll out cabbage rudely slams the drawer closed okay you wonder if what you just saw was real. I don't think so. I definitely think the dead mouse has infected our brains already. You slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. I do. 
but only slightly. Oh, I'm a lot more concerned than we are, I guess. Tyrion. Hey. Did you find the supplies? You shake your head? No. Anatoly lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Idiot. Here you go. You got the emergency supplies. Ow, ow, ow! Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work on cooking dinner. Tonight's entree, vegetable stew. Oh, that looks really good. This tastes pretty good. So lay. You get vegetable stew. Woo! We did it, y'all. You set the table and ask everyone to dig in. Dig in, vegetable stew. Oh, wow. This smells delicious. Thank you. You must be a world-class chef. Karen takes a bite. It's bland as hell. You know what, Karen? I didn't ask for your input. Karen tastes like every other vegetable stew. So generic. Could probably use some meat next time. Noted. Gross. For a side dish, we could bake some bread and utilize, utilize the Fragaria Vesca, commonly known as strawberries. For some... Okay, just say that, Anatoly. Strawberries. Okay. <laughs> Why are you out here confusing my brain? I can't read that well. Nobody cares, pipsqueak. Oh. Everyone laughs at Karen's polite ribbing. Oh, okay. I thought that was rude, but... Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. This could very well be the best day you've ever had. You go to bed stuffed. I'm just waiting to be jump scared. Hey, you up? Gregor is trying to slide in the DMs right now. How'd you sleep? I was so warm last night. I didn't even need a blanket. What time is it? About one hour until dawn. They they wake up hella early. Oh. Will you two quiet down trying to sleep over here? Yawn. Gregor, the birds outside aren't making much noise yet. We didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better to get a head start on gathering food. It's too early for this. Let's find more than wild sorrel today. Yeah. If you're a lucky little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. Okay. And what's with you and meat, big guy? Why do they keep saying little guy and bi big guy? Don't steal anything, okay? You nod. All right, Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen leave the cabin with a skip to their step. You're alone, but thankfully you have a drawer of chompettes to keep you company. Each day, you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. You only get one choice, then the day will end. Choose wisely. What do you want to check out today? Ooh, what do we want to check out today? Talk with the chompettes, check out the bedroom, look around the bathroom, go into the basement. We want to go straight to the basement. Let's get the hard part done, right? I guess we'll try it, right? This door goes into the basement. It's locked. There's no reason to go into the basement right now. You wait for the others to return. Well, we definitely did not choose wisely. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Woohoo, quite the selection of species here. We are also more wild, found more wild sorrel. Is this going to be enough for a good meal? Everyone is looking at you for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide on your spe specialty cabbage rolls. <gasps> that looks amazing. You cooked cabbage rolls! Woo! Raya looks optimistic. Karen looks skeptical. Anatoly looks curious. Gregor looks thrilled. You watch intently as everyone takes the first bite. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's pretty darn good. Wow, I could eat the whole batch myself. I think the vegetable soup tasted better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really adds to it. Spoon some of the liquid on the top of it. You'll thank me later. Incredible. It's definitely growing on me. 
This really was something special. Thanks again for cooking. You are so welcome. I didn't do anything, technically. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. I just read. Everyone goes to bed full and happy. You asleep. You asleep instantly. Tomorrow will be another great day. Okay, we accomplished nothing. We accomplished nothing on the first day. So, basement's locked. We are not gonna go there. We're gonna go somewhere else today. Good morning, everyone! Again, Gregor? I would have bitch slapped Gregor so hard if he yelled an hour before dawn. Can't you let us sleep in? Not today. Why? Storm clouds are coming. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it used a lot of what we have. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, where did all of this food come from? Fail to prepare? Prepare to fail. Let's go on. Prepare for the storm. Foraging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods, and it has better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes, and I'll plot our, out a our route on some paper. Let me help, little guy. Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Mariah and Karen are still hanging around. Unfortunately, you can't make everyone happy when given a choice to speak to a character. Choose wisely. You can select one of them. Try to max out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Which one would you like to- Ooh, wait, we can only talk to one. Mariah, I feel like, has more input, possibly. Or she would at least be more willing to talk. So I'm going to say Mariah. Mariah is paging through some of the books on the bookshelf. You walk over to her. Plus, she has a cute fit. There are some great books here. Which one is your favorite? The romantic one, the crafting one, the scary one. I personally am a huge romantic, romantic one. Which one would possibly give the best? I don't even know what we're trying to do. We're just trying to survive, right? I'm going to say the romantic one. Oh, yeah? I read a few random pages. Seems pretty melodramatic. Why is everyone crying all the time? You shrug. Maybe the ending redeems it, but from what I've read, this book is hot garbage. Sorry. There are definitely some better books you could be reading. I'll write down a list of recommendations later. You hear a cheer from the other room. Sounds like the two are wrapping up their meeting. Gregor and Anatoly come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. Hey, can you cook something while we're out? You nod. Thank you. Let's beat those rain clouds. The group leaves determined as ever. You have the cabin all to yourself. Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. What's going on with that radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? Inspect the chicken. The chicken. Inspect the kitchen. Check out the bedroom. Look around the bathroom. I don't think we go to the basement again. I don't want to waste a day. Maybe we go to... We already looked around the kitchen. Let's check out the bedroom. Poor Anatoly. Why is there a random cage? There's a camera, mouse hole. Painting of maybe the landscape, the mountains. Window, that's all I see. For Anatoly, Karen snowing, snoring is so loud she often wakes you up. Anatoly must be running on fumes. Would he have the courage to wake her up though? Probably not. No, no I wouldn't. You wait for around for others to return. Oh, and there's a lifted board. Okay. Mariah's back early today. Hey. The others are still looking for food outside. And it only found some more berries. Okay. But nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others. But I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched the numbers and we don't have enough food even with rationing to last if we get stuck here. Oh no, wait. 
flooding horror-esque dating sim low on food it's about cooking are we gonna start cooking each other mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management can you try cooking with a little less this evening yes ma'am aye aye captain thank you you've done such a great job with meals so far you're very sweet is Mariah blushing a little bit? I'm blushing a little bit. Why is she blurring me? Tee <laughs> Okay. I'm so scared what's happening. Our relationship is stronger. We flirted with Mariah. <laughs> Maybe you can teach me to cook sometime. I've got you. Looking forward to it. You can hold cooking classes here someday. Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. Rude! Mariah and I were bonding. Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. Jam is so bland without any sugaring, though. Do you have any? You shake your head, sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Beautiful area. You could even see snow on the tips of the mountains. That rumble sounded like a dying calf. <laughs> you look from person to person to determine- trying to determine who it was. It was definitely Mariah. Mariah! I'd recognize that sound from anywhere. Yeah. Guilty. Mariah looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honesty. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. <clears throat> Those who have it, do not want it. Those who have it, least, succeed. Those who have it for too long, perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? Bruh, I kind of zoned out. I, I was not listening. What? Hmm. <laughs> Dust? Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Rai's face lights up. I got it. Is it hunger? Yes, it is. That was my guess. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, chef? Bread and jam. You crush the berries in your small mortar and pesto, spreading it on some crusty bread. Honestly, doesn't look that bad. Plus, bread is pretty filling, so. You cooked raspberry jam and bread. Woo! The bread's a little tough. Gregor, don't look at a gift horse in the mouth. But this is, but this homemade jam is to die for. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, you're not sure this could be a called a meal, but it got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something has been clinging to your back for days. You try to see it in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. It won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the hour. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your back in cool water. It doesn't work. It gets deeper into your back, causing the river, the river to run red. You didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall backwards. You push yourself to the bottom, trying to submerge the creature shredding your back. But it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. You splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. You let the current take you downstream. You give up trying to swim to the shore. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the waters. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting into the sky as you sink to the bottom. As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back, staring into your eyes. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake in a cold sweat. I knew it was going to be some... Oh! Wake up! Sorry, you were making strange noises in your sleep. What? What's going on, Gregor? Did the lightning wake you up? It woke me up. Try to fall back asleep, but it's so loud. Ugh. Let's just get back to sleep and talk about this in the morning. 
Everyone nods in agreement and gets back to bed. I don't sleep. <laughs> Except for you, 